Hey everyone, this is going to be a transformative reading, unlocking a part of you that is hidden away, needs your attention, basically just letting your potential come to the surface and everything you need to know right in front of your face. Now, this is actually inspired by a spread that I made back in, I don't know, I don't know which year, I think it was 2019, 2020, um, and I really love this spread. It's very helpful. So we're going to be touching on a different few things today. There are three different cards for you to choose from. Pile number one is you have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. Number two is going to be be authentic. Anything else is just exhausting. And the third one is going to be let your feelings out. All of them, even the ones that scare you. With this one, I'm getting that Roar song by Katy Perry, like, right away. I don't know why. <laughs> maybe you're Leo, or maybe you need to take on some more Leo energy. Feeling proud, confident, well, the more brighter aspects of Leo, anyway. But, yeah, so whatever little quote, number card you feel drawn towards that's going to be your reading so again we're going to be touching on a few different things throughout this spread now i do offer this as a personal reading along with a couple other spreads that are similar to this but i thought i should kind of do it for like a general reading you know um i think it's very helpful it's very beneficial i like to do this on myself from time to time been a little bit since I did that, but <laughs> I do. Um, and this was one that I was really proud of when I created it. And still to this day, I love it. So I was like, why not share it all with you? I think it would be helpful. At least that's what I hope. So yes, go ahead, make your selection. I'll give you guys a few more seconds to decide, but if you need more time than that, pause the video and I'll see you there. You worry way too much when you don't have to. Everything's gonna be okay. You can figure anything out. It's actually a lesson of needing to know, like you actually don't have to think so hard. <laughs> you're already enough. You're already qualified. You're already talented. You don't have to think everything through. You're the type of person where you really care about your future and how certain situations are going to play out. So it puts you in this space of putting unnecessary stress and pressure on your shoulders. You're the type that will never give up. Like something could be weighing on you for a long, long time, but you will just keep it on your shoulders and you will just keep going with that big, heavy burden on your back. And it's like your higher self is just wanting you to let it go. Let loose. I feel like a massage will do you guys good. <laughs> Maybe you like massages or something like that. But honestly, guys, you have the potential to be in this beautiful space where you are creating the life of your dreams. And I want you to know that your efforts are not in vain because right now you're really striving to put yourself in position to bring in a brand new life for yourself and i see this more so like financially speaking but i'm also getting a little bit of like relationship vibes here all right so there's a lot of things that you want to do a lot of things you want to experience you want to create and you're on the right track to doing so but right now it's like you have no peace you have no peace because you're stuck in this place of trying to pinpoint how things are going to play out when the higher purpose for you being here is actually to just getting this space where you trust, where you have fun, you're like playful with it. You allow your intuitive, creative side out to play. Like you are the type of person that is very practical. You're very realistic. And it's almost like spirit is trying to, well, they're not trying to, but they're allowing you to put unnecessary pressure and stress on yourself just to sort of get you to crack and allow this playful inner child you know carefree type spirit within you to come out and shine i see you being very artistically or creatively in tuned and this is a gift that you were meant to use and i just think a big part of you really like having your potential play out is you trusting that knowing that this is for you i'm even getting some of you guys are really worried about like 
speaking your feelings to a certain somebody or you feel like there's certain situations in your life that you have to make right whether it be your finances your career your love life it's like it's a lot on your plate you know but the whole thing about it is that you make situations harder than they have to be and don't take that as an insult let that be a relief to let you know like things are not as scary as they seem and it's honestly the lesson for you to learn with this seven of pentacles here because even with this three of wands this is what's blocking you you are the type of person that will wait until you feel ready but you're never going to be ready <laughs> nobody's ever ready <laughs> you just have to get out there and do the damn thing and this is the lesson for you to learn it's being this page of cups energy where it's like hey you speak your mind you speak from the heart you're authentic you just roll with it like you allow yourself to have fun even if everything doesn't go the way that you were expecting or hoping it's like hey it's a it's an experience an experience to add to my life you know to just be in that carefree type spirit because this is the part of you that so desperately wants to be seen you want to enjoy your life again or at least your soul wants you to <laughs> and it's trying to like crack your ego and be like okay no you are not your thoughts you are not your feelings so like a big thing for you to learn here is you're never going to be ready until you just go for it until you just start implementing changes where you can and it's funny because like as i was saying with this three of wands this is what's blocking you and then you have the seven of pentacles for the lesson to learn see he's looking out here and then like the future and you're like waiting for a sign <laughs> you're waiting for certain things to come in until you feel like like i feel like you'll be the type of person where you get an idea or you know you're going to do something pursue someone or something but then it's like okay i'm gonna wait for the right moment to strike or i'm gonna wait until i'm in a better position within my career or if i get this new outfit or i get this new like tripod i don't know tripod like silly things like that but it's like no you gotta work with what you got you gotta do with what's right in front of you you gotta trust like hey you know i've learned this much so far and i just gotta go with what feels right to me and al allow the rest to unravel i'm not focused out here i'm focused right here with what's in front of me you know so that's where a majority of your stress comes from is from the future <laughs> it's like but the future doesn't exist and it's so beautiful too because with this magician okay this is where you have the potential to be so not only do you have the potential to be in this beautiful space creating your best life your best version feeling confident within your voice um and I want to say something about love here because I am getting major like career hobbies because I see that you are someone who is definitely a very heavy dreamer. You have some sort of artistic or creative ability and you're meant to use that, but it's like it's time to stop stalling on those plans. Okay, with this two wands at the very bottom of the deck. Whew. But let's talk on love here, because I do feel like with this Nine of Swords and with this Page of Cups, some of you could have felt like you went wrong, or you lost somebody who was important to you. Others of you, this could just be you imagining the type of life that you want. Like, I want to be in this career, I want the family, I want the baby, Like, because Page of Cups is a little baby vibes, the wedding, okay, this is also popping the question sometimes, but... And even if you're thinking, oh, I don't want those things, I'm telling you, I feel like there is this part of you that dreams of having like deeper things like that, but you're just so stressed out by the material right now. But for those of you who are, do have a love interest on your mind, somebody that you are interested in or you are dying to speak to, it's like you have the potential to say what is on your mind, all right? And even in bigger ways beyond love. And I see this going well for you when you authentically speak from your heart, whether it be directly to somebody in particular or this is just like in general when it comes to your creative abilities and the things that you're pursuing like there's a need for you to get things off of your chest so some of you are just really suppressing heavy feelings that you got to put out there whether it be to this person 
just to kind of like lay it to rest <laughs> or i even feel like this is in bigger ways like you generally just need somebody to talk to like you need to stop suffering and uh, trying to figure everything out by yourself like because you don't have to do that use your resources this is a lesson for you to learn as well you know there is help available around to you i feel like you guys would benefit through maybe talking to like a counselor but the thing about you is is an un tapped potential and hidden talent that you have is that you're really good at holding down the fort being in the stable position where you're secure within yourself you financially have money in the bank you're in a good place financially instead of just feeling like you're trying to make it by okay this is a talent that you actually have you're really good at saving and investing wisely and making smart choices with your money with your time you're really good at being able to know like what's for you and what isn't for you but there's a part of you that's sort of shutting this out and it's just because you could be the type of person who is an emotional spender okay so it's almost like or maybe you're just really like transitioning jobs right now or something like that okay but there is a part of you that feels a little bit not satisfied when it comes to your finances and your career but the good thing about that is is that i see that this will change as soon as you really start to step into this place where it's like okay i'm just gonna do what i can every day i'm not gonna allow myself to stress and think about where it's gonna lead me i'm gonna improve in the areas that i can and work towards this every day and stop stressing about the outcome stop waiting for something outside of you like something to come to you it's not gonna it's not gonna be that way <laughs> seven of pentacles it's like you gotta look for it you gotta look and make it happen you know and this is like the big theme here now don't let that stress you out because i see that you've got enough stress as it is it doesn't have to seem it doesn't have to be so hard like and that's also a higher purpose for you to learn like have fun with it you know you see something that you can potentially work with that you could do just trust it just go with it see where it will lead you don't try to conjure up a million things in your mind okay well what if this happens or you know because who you guys have such a bright personality oh wow that's that's funny yeah maybe i just kind of subconsciously seen it but i was thinking of the magician when i said bright and that's even your card you know so stop dimming your light you deserve to enjoy life you deserve to be happy. You deserve to see all the success that you wish for yourself. You deserve to be in fulfilling relationships. And I honestly feel like once you start to get the ball rolling with your career and your more material and physical aspects figured out, there will be this part of you that has a yearning for connection, for family, for love, even more. Um, and not even just that, I feel like there's also going to be a part of you that yearns to sort of like dabble into different interests, hobbies, like really allowing, allowing your creative, artistic, whatever the heck is on your heart side of you to come out. So don't just settle for the job that seems financially promising. You know, definitely you got to do what you got to do. Be grateful for what you already have right now because it's getting you by. But there is this part of you that wants something that's more fulfilling on a soul level and you will get there you have to search for it though <laughs> you have to search for it you have to search for it you have to make it you have to you know don't wait for your luck create your luck okay because if you just wait for things to fall into your lap you're gonna be waiting for a long time pal all right and i really i feel like i have to be very you just have so much. You have to address what's going on with you mentally and emotionally. And I almost just like feel like certain things that you do in your day to day is stressing you out. And if you like, this is a really good sign if you guys want to get your own house or if you want to get a work from home job as well or a job that gives you more freedom because like you see like this guy is like headed towards the house here, okay? Like he is doing all this hard stuff so that he can get this reward later on down the line and that's the type of spirit you have within you, you know? And that's a good thing. That's a good thing, all right? But you don't have to put this unnecessary stress on yourself as well like your position is secure and you're gonna always continue a way to grow 
and to get yourself to where you need to be and where you want to be okay and this advice to help you get there is with this ace of pentacles this is like you have to make the decision to just look out for yourself in every way because you can't address the things outside of your life until you address what's going on with you mentally and spiritually because you don't deserve to be in this place where you're just stressed out worried every single day and you have no peace of mind i feel like meditation will really do you good um but when you go into meditation now here's the thing because i think this is why i used to not like meditation so much the goal of meditation is not to like clear your mind of all thoughts i literally think that's impossible i don't think i would ever be able to do that <laughs> you ever hear people that say they're thinking of nothing and i i remember this used to like blow my mind like how are you thinking of nothing like you know maybe it's just because i'm an i'm a libra i'm an air sign but i do have a lot of earth in me okay as well but anyway the goal of meditation is not to clear your mind of all thoughts it's literally just to accept your mind like you go into the meditation and just whatever comes to your mind you just ex accept it observe it like okay yeah this is what i'm thinking so random and like thoughts those are actually thoughts that are popping up that are going through your mind subconsciously all throughout the day you're just not aware of it because you're just like eh. you know your conscious mind is all over the place but that would be really good for you but i do want to say if you do try meditation try to be in the space where you're not under the influence or you're not like in a crazy state of mind where you feel a lot of anxiety or like depression that day um because i know that this is something that you deal with like you want to be in a semi better state when you go into it but i do think being consistent um with that will help you and also channeling all of what you feel into your creative space but most of all the big part of you is acceptance this is also a big lesson for you to learn um and accepting you just gotta like be okay with what is especially with the seven of pentacles like it's gonna be hard for you to work with what you got if you constantly are just looking past it as if something better is out there it's gonna be hard for you to work with what you got when you aren't accepting of your situation because you feel like you should be further you know so this is almost like blocking you from seeing opportunity that's all around you Okay, so let's get some oracles. I didn't even use oracles yet, but I honestly just feel like you have to address what it is that you're doing that is not good for your mental health, that's not good for your physical health, whatever it is for you personally, you have to address something that's weighing on your heart heavily. I even feel like some of you guys this could have been some sort of like loss or it's just worry of a perceived loss. Like you're the type of person that will worry about your stability your future you care so much and that's why you have no peace but what you have to realize is like it's not somewhere out there it's within you like you are the magic you are the future and the only way to know your future is to know your present moment like what are you doing now presently what did you do yesterday you know every little choice you make and every action you take it adds up so never doubts like the power of how things can compact over time all right so let's dabble more into your talents okay because i think you really need to put more focus on what is good about you <laughs> you spend too much time beating yourself up don't allow your ego to take your peace to take your success from you because I know it may not be ideal, it may not be with what you got pictured, but you are in a good place. You have something to work with. You have resources, you have time, you know, you're getting by financially, like, you're good, you're okay. Self-love, oh. So you're really good at loving yourself. And I think you're the type of person where maybe you are a little bit afraid to just be in this carefree space where you speak authentically from the heart because you've been burned before. You know, there could be a little bit of trust issues that you have when it comes to opening up because when you were in the space of just, you know, being loving and being carefree and just being so innocent, like, oh, like, you know, like love and happiness, it's like life showed you you can't do that. 
certain people showed you you can't do that like life calls you to harden in some type of way but you have this talent of being able to know like okay this is someone or this is something that i can't trust so you don't have to be in this high alert state of like is this going to work out or is this person going to burn me because you actually have a talent of knowing like when a situation is going to burn you or when it ain't going to work out so it's going to come to you naturally to know like all right you know this ain't it for me <laughs> you know um yeah i see that you guys will acquire a lot of stability a lot of wealth within this lifetime but this is up to you like this is up to you how far you take it again big lesson for you to learn seven of pentacles like work with what you got don't just wait for things to come to you all right create your luck but right now the self-love see with untapped potential this is saying you need some self-love as you already probably knew but what you don't see is a hidden talent this is already within you i think a big part of it that will also help you is to sort of just see yourself as somebody who already does love themselves who already is you know in the best position in their life and a good relationship good health good shape if you just start to see yourself as such it's not to say that the house the job your body those things define you but if you start to see yourself as happy as loving yourself it's going to be that much easier to believe you know so just just work on it um i just think you guys are shying away when you're meant to get out there make it happen all right, so let's get you a money message because I this is like majorly career career talking about creative endeavors. All right, this magician, this is like this could be a number of things. This could be you inventing something completely different, new, or just doing something a completely different way. Um, it's like one thing is branching you out even further. This magician is completely original. Um, writing, speaking, video making actor like things like that magician could literally be anything but that's always like typically the stuff it reminds me of music music is another big one singing all right um tarot being a reader obviously if it's not going to be things like that it's just going to be you using your creative and unique aspects of your mind to sort of take what you already got and turn it into more so if you are in more like a mundane business like i don't know you have your own business or and i feel like you guys do have your own business if i picked this group or at least you're meant to if you don't have it already there's a part of you that desires that so trust that um but if you are in like a regular job this is like you could take it up a notch by really like putting yourself out there like let's stop downplaying your potential like if you saw your potential you would not be wasting another day away waiting for things to just happen for you you would go out there and make it happen day by day and you'd be patient and trust the process that's also another lesson all right so let's do a money message because as i was saying like yeah the big vibe here is like future money career but there's also a little bit of love here and that also makes me think that i think some of you have shut out love um and it kind of caused you to just care about money or you feel like you have to sort out your money your finances first before you can have love like maybe if it's not even money or finances just like health and like your own self but let's see you know you don't have to be perfectly healed in order to have new partners in all right so buddha life purpose more than money spiritual wealth career counselor being guided so you are being guided within your career path you have been guided up until this point so trust where you're being led to go trust your ideas trust those reoccurring thoughts that you get that keep coming to you all right so you have a life purpose you know that some of you are just really focused on money like you need to kind of like focus on the more spiritual lighter side of life because that's going to help you leaps and bounds okay but this is telling me that like your life is more than just money it's more than that okay so stop trying to stop focusing on just that and and feeling like such an unnecessary pressure to figure those things out because feeling wary feeling pressure it's not going to change your situation it's just going to give you something to do. 
when you could be doing something more constructively with your time instead of worrying and i, I want to say that with love because i know how hard it is like sometimes when we're just in our head all day we it, we're, we're so exhausted we don't have time to do anything else because we're stressing ourselves out we're feeling such heavy stuff you know so it's like it leaves no room to actually take effective conscious action to create better for ourselves. So that's why most of all, you got to get this sorted out first. I wish that there was more that I could say. It's almost like I'm trying to go on just to sort of give you some sort of peace of mind to heal this wound, this burden that you're carrying. But it's like, you got to just realize that only you can change this. Only you can do this. Like you have to, and I honestly think getting into your own health is really going to help you mentally okay especially with this ace of pentacles others of you this is telling you to get out of that job you're in or at least start taking steps to create your ideal job because that's also going to help you mentally because it's almost like right now you feel mentally and spiritually caged in emotionally caged in and it's because you're suppressing this life within you that wants to come out and deeper feelings that need to get off your chest all right so take some time for you like self-care don't mean like binging on cookies and, and like you know self-care and like take a bubble bath and binging on cookies and watching a movie no that's not self-care that's temporary gratification that's going to leave you feeling like crap and does nothing for you in the long run self-care is actually looking at your life looking at yourself addressing your patterns and trying to make changes that are going to overall support your future, support your health, your finances, and what you want to see happen for you. You know, learning something new, like something you've never done before. That's what's really going to help you. All right. So, you know, don't get me wrong. It's okay to cry. Like definitely cry, definitely let things out, but you know what I mean? Um, don't just call it self care and just, you know, drink or, eat some cookies, watch the million TV shows. Like, no, 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 that's a pattern. That's a pattern that you need to come out of, that you need to address and still in new habits, new behaviors, new thought patterns. All right, guys, so you have so much potential. Um, I honestly feel like you guys are already in a good position or at least you're stable. It's just, you're not feeling that way. You're really worried, you're really stressed, but what you don't see is that you have the ability to change your situation around completely to bring in that new job a higher status an elevated partner i'm even getting like <laughs> this is like you be i'm even getting like wanting to transform like your looks or your body or some of you may actually want to do that for like a living like if you want to be like a hairstylist or you do cosmetology in some type of way now obviously that ain't going to be for everybody but it is big like entertainer creative um hobby vibes that are meant to be your career your full-on career and like i said those of you you could do something more mundane like i don't know why i'm thinking of like landscaping <laughs> or like something like that like maybe you do nails or you know but it's going to be you using your creative resources and working with what you got your unique mind putting yourself out there that's going to launch you forward all right so take care of you take care of you guys because you're too great to just keep dimming yourself and allowing yourself to live this way when life is meant to be enjoyed all right so i hope this reading helped you let me know if it did um i do have personal readings of this spread i've created the spread and it's called the unlock your inner goddess so if you're interested go check that out on my website i also have a few other ones um and yeah i wish you all the best bye you can sense something big is about to happen for you that's going to change you completely so don't stress over this try to just live as presently as you can see i feel like right now you're in this space where you're just sort of taking life as it comes there's this part of you that wants to branch out and start something new or go to that next level but overall you're just like it is what it is like life is just throwing things at you i see new relationships coming into play some of you this is even like new clientele because right off the bat like 
what really jumped out to me within this reading is that you guys have the potential to gain recognition within the areas that you're qualified within. So you're really skilled and knowledgeable within a certain field. And most of you already do have some sort of recognition or you're on the break of a promotion, that next level, that next position. And you already know this, like you are so intuitive, you are so powerful. So never doubt what you already know. And this is funny because this is your advice to get there. Your advice to get in this place where it's like, you know, you feel secure within yourself because this is where you have the potential to be, okay? Queen of Pentacles, owning your stuff, like feeling secure within you, taking care of your loved ones, your partner, just holding down the fort. You don't have to worry about the bills. You have a steady partner that you love, who loves you. You guys take care of each other. Now I feel like some of you guys, you could already have a partner, but I see you being able to provide more. You know, provide more for your community, for your clients, people who need your services or that could benefit from your qualifications. So you have the potential to be in this place where you just feel comfortable. You're not doubting yourself. You're not worried. You know all is good financially. You know what you have to offer and that you're here to stay. And it's telling you, like with this high priestess, you already know <laughs> what you got to do to get into this position. Just trust the process because it's almost like you guys are just waiting for your moment. Oh my gosh, now I'm getting that song. What is that? Man, these songs are always going to make me sing because I can never remind. I can never think of the, it's like, I'm just waiting on my moment. No, that's not even how it goes. That's not even the beat. That's the lyrics, but man, yeah. If you know what song I'm talking about, then it's for you. If not, let it go. But it's like, I'm just waiting on my moment. I see relationships deepening, you building a sincere trust between your community, the people that you provide a service to, like everything's going to be okay. Now, what's funny is though, is that you do got this death card for what's blocking you. So there is this part of you that is scared. <laughs> like you're afraid to just let go and let things happen because there's no telling how stuff is going to play out. Life is just throwing new things at you, like new life stages, significant milestones. And this is going to take form for you guys in many different ways. Some of you, this is like you having children, are you getting into that relationship? Others of you, this is about you opening up your business or launching something new that takes you to the next step or getting that new position at work, whatever it is for you personally. There's a huge theme here about you being into and ready for the next level and for this new phase of your life where there's more harmony within your relationships, there's more joy and any sadness that you had previously, I see this being healed. I see that being mended by people around you and also from the good of your own heart, like knowing that you've done a job well done. like. You will be somebody who thrives in sales or providing a service to people. And as I said, most of you, you already are doing this, but you need to actually give yourself credit where it's due because you provide a really good service and you are really skilled. You are really qualified. Everything is going to be fine. I think you just need to know that. And you will find that you feel so much joy through just generally giving from a good space. like. So if you are already in a position where you're showing off your talent or you're using what you're already qualified within to sort of help people, I would highly look at getting into that if you're not already, which most of you are, because this is really going to bring you to new spiritual heights, all right? Um, but there's this part of you that's still afraid to let this old version of you go, but this old version cannot come in. <laughs> to what life is currently throwing at you, where you will eventually be led. It's like it's only a matter of time. And before you know it, you're going to change. Life is going to be completely different for the better, you know? And it's funny because like with this Two of Swords, your current lesson to learn, oh, that's so beautiful. It's not even funny. That is so beautiful. This High Priestess, say like 
listen, you are very, very intuitive. Now, that doesn't mean everyone's going to be readers in this group, but I do feel like if you picked this group, you have the potential to be somebody who is very spiritually in tuned, um, whether you actually use that in some sort of form of divination, there'll be readers who pick this. But this is basically just saying like, oh my goodness, you just have to trust your intuition, like quiet the noise around you. And allow yourself to feel into situations instead of like thinking yourself into a corner all right now you could be a little bit indecisive and just overall confused or worried about how things are going to happen or how they're going to go <laughs> but this is your lesson to learn like that's none of your business you don't have to figure that out all you have to do like literally that's none of your business your lesson to learn is like okay i need to stop giving so much of my attention and my mental focus on things that don't really matter that has nothing to do with me and it's just not helping me in any way and i just need to listen to what my intuition is telling me so exciting new chapters happening for you guys i want to say congratulations <laughs> congratulations okay because whether this be a child a new relationship you having your business like there's just exciting things happening and i honestly feel like even if one specific thing is resonating for you very strongly right now whether it be more about relationships or business like i actually feel like things are going to branch off of each other so you may be thinking like oh yeah business that's me right now but eventually i see you know those start to be new relationships that come into your life possibly even children feeling that strongly now some of you guys could have recently just like had a child or you've been thinking about that um this is also your sign that like you're gonna find a way to provide and also just congratulations because you're going to change so much and others of you, this is just like you just started your business, you put things in motion, or you started something new, and I see it being successful, you know? And this is telling you have, like, you naturally know how to achieve success for yourself. You are the type of person where life could throw all these situations that are meant to sort of shake you up a bit and get you to sort of lose focus like it tested you it tested you just to sort of push your limits so you can break yourself out of those bounds but you have the talent for always being able to come overcome everything that is thrown your way and solving any issue so any little minor thing that pops up and you're trying to just sort of like sort out the logistics of how i'm gonna provide or how am i gonna do this how am i gonna pay whatever it is you're gonna figure it out like you have a natural talent for that and you also are qualified within a specific area that you could be really using that's going to help you even more and some of you you're already using it but i mean this in like a new way like i don't know whether it's just you being more confident and you put a different energy behind it or those of you guys like maybe you work for somebody else but it's time to work for you all right um okay because i see that new position coming all right, let's get you some oracle guys so let's see a hidden talent they have hmm and you know what is so beautiful i really love this deck it was such a rare find because i got it i actually got it like re, like right after when i got into tarot again which if you guys didn't know um if any of you follow me from before i got into tarot late 2021 so i only took like eight or nine months off <laughs> but i was on instagram mainly um yeah but this i found this at tj maxx and i love it because it's so similar to regular rider weight but there's like very almost unnoticeable differences and what i love about this i don't know why it's not focusing maybe you guys aren't focused right now like get focused again <laughs> get focused because like yeah you can be truly unstoppable but what i love about this is like this little bunny okay he's just sitting still this bunny's just chilling like looking at his owner like okay you know i'm gonna listen to you i trust that you'll provide for me and in the traditional rider weight no this bunny is like what's the word like running away like speeding you know so you have the potential to be in this place where you're calm you're chill you're trusting where you're at and you're trusting what's to come and what you'll be able to make of it you know just this authentic place where you feel at peace with what you got going on you're able to provide for other people you provide a really good service for those who need 
what it is that you're qualified and talented within. Um, but even like your loved ones, your kids, if you have them, your partner, your partner being able to take care of you, like just really good stuff. Honestly, the only thing stopping you, this death card, this is like things that you need to let go of. <laughs> You need to let go of because it's just not going to fit in with what's coming for you, with what, with where you're being led to go. And I want to say, I was going to say led, but I wanted to say like where you're meant to go because this is meant for you. Like you're not meant to stay in this place forever where you're just like, oh, you know, it is what it is. Like feel more confident. Have fun. Well, no, it is good to be in that place, but I mean it more so in the way where you're just kind of like. I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm going to just let things be. Like, you want to be in this place where you know what you're doing, you're focused, you're using all of what you got, but you're not worried about the outcome. So it is what it is. You know, you notice the difference. So be authentic because anything else is just exhausting. People are going to love you for the real you. Your partner, people in the workplace, your community. I'm even getting, like, your school. So maybe this could be school. Maybe that's why I was getting such a heavy children vibe. Like, something... Now, you, obviously, <laughs> um, you're probably not a young child in grade school watching this, but you know what I mean. Um, maybe it just kind of reminds you of when you were younger. Like, there's something like that going on here. But look, you got wisdom. See, you're really wise. This is a hidden talent you have. You've learned so much. Look. Look at this. You are an expert almost. <laughs> Damn near. Like, you were so skilled. You were so talented. And the thing about you is, if you don't know the way, you're going to find the way. You're going to learn the way. Like, you're not the type of person that will just give up. No. You're going to learn what you have to learn in order to put yourself in position. So you're very adaptable. All right? This is a talent you have. So it's time to tap into that a little bit more and use your wisdom be confident in what you have to contribute and where you'll land because i'm telling you you guys are going to rock this this new thing happening coming for you it's going to be all good you're going to excel you know this is going to change you completely as a person it's going to you're not even going to notice it it's going to be a little bit gradual but as you look back you're going to be like man this was like the marking of like one point of my life to the next the old version of me to the new version you know so get ready guys get ready because <laughs> you already know the good stuff happening for you and trust me it will be good all right so i hope you enjoyed this reading um and as i said i do offer this as a personal reading it is a spread i made so if you're interested check it out it's on my website along with other ones and i'll see you next time bye you already know what you got to do this is just about having the strength, the courage, and the self-respect to follow through on what you know needs to end, on what you know you got to do. You are so strong. Like, you are in this beautiful energy right now where you're just tired of it. Like, you're not accepting less than anymore. Life kind of threw crazy things, crazy relationships at you to get you in this energy where it's like, okay, it's time to crack down and get serious with myself. Like put an end to the things that were ending you, that were hindering you. It's like, you don't have time for the nonsense no more. You don't have time for the games. And you know exactly what you got to do. Like you could sense this new beginning on the other side of the things that are just no longer fitting into your life and it, for the majority of this is a relationship because what's so interesting is that when i was shuffling these cards this king of swords popped out here then this is you queen of swords all right so some of you guys are contemplating separating from your partner you've been divorced you just recently went through a breakup or it could have been some time ago but it's still affecting you like you are still sort of holding on to certain things because you never got that closure that you felt like you needed. And that's kind of what's blocking you right now from doing what you have to do because you already know what the right thing to do is. But there are certain parts of yourself that feels like you haven't made amends with what was. It's almost like you're waiting for this person to forgive you or to say they're sorry or to change, like for them to see the damage that they did, the part that they played in things. But you sort of waiting for everything to figure itself out and 
you know, for things to change and for this person to make things right. That's honestly, it's only keeping you in this place of being on the break of something new, ready for that new phase, the new version of you, but being stuck with where you're at. Because you got to put these things to rest. You got to, you know that it is best for you to end this relationship, to say goodbye to this person, or that it was what's best for you. So now it's time to emotionally let it go. I'm telling you, you are so strong. You are so capable. Now, some of you guys could actually be somebody who cut you out, but you know that you have to bring yourself to cut it out as well like you can't keep emotionally attaching to this person who detached from you and that's really just what i see here this is like a huge relationship energy but the thing about it is this is also a big life purpose reading let me tell you the amount of major arcanas within this spread you only have two regular cards two minor arcanas that came out of this so let me just tell you, you guys are tough. Like, life has thrown some crap at you. And I see this probably throughout all of your life as it does everybody. But just recently and right now, you had to force some... Not force. It's almost like you have to let go of things that you feel like you have to force. If you feel like you have to force this relationship to work or for certain things to work out, like, you know, just let it go. Do what you can to focus on you. But you had to face harsh lessons. But it puts you in this beautiful place like this world, you know. I know you may not always see the higher purpose behind it. But the higher purpose was to bring you back to you. To give you this. The world is so beautiful because this is the ending of the fool's journey. This is when the fool has found itself. Who knows who they are. Who knows what they got to do moving forward. And... It's such a beautiful energy because I think that this person, and I'm going to just say person because I'm telling you, this is really a heavy energy. The way that this king with this queen fell out here, now it could be a thing. Like maybe you recently decided to get your degree and it was a really tough experience to go through studying, but you graduated, like you made it, you know, you're qualified now. Um, but let's just say this. This thing or this person has put you through it to the point where it's like, you're going to feel grateful to let this go. Like, if you're not there yet, you eventually will be because it's almost like your soul just can't take it anymore. Like, you're ready to experience something new, to see what's on the other side of that. And I know it's painful and I know it hurts. And if this is somebody who did this to you, you're eventually going to be in that same energy. So don't just see this as like, oh, I'm picking up on your person's energy. No, this is the energy that you will soon match, especially with the way that this king and this queen of swords fell out here. So whether this is you saying like, oh man, I got to cut this person out. I got to cut this thing out. Or somebody did this to you, you soon will be feeling that same way. Um, this could even be you just sort of like speaking up to positions of authority, like maybe people in the workplace, all right, but let's talk about this because you got the temperance for your untapped potential and your hidden talents. This is such a beautiful, powerful card to come out in like your hidden talents. Like you are somebody who has this divine connection. You were heavily guided and protected all throughout your life. I even feel that you have higher ups in the spiritual realm. So you could have lost people in your life like due to actual loss of life and i see these people still guiding protecting and helping nudge you in the right direction to get everything sorted out for you to make the best of yourself and your life but you also have higher ups that you know weren't even a part of this elf realm like elf from <laughs> elf i don't know maybe you like the movie elf weren't even a part of this earth realm your guardian angel which we all have a guardian angel but i just see that right now in this time your angels your guides are working with you very closely because they see that you're going through this big life transition all right so you have the potential you are somebody who is naturally gifted and being able to make a bad situation turn into a good one it's like you get better through time. So if you feel like the first half of your life was pretty rough or hey, maybe it's even rough right now, you have a talent for being able to turn it around completely. And it's like 
the second half is going to be way better. You have a talent for knowing yourself fully. And I see this even being like, some of you may be good at drawing. Um, some sort of like creative, artistic talent. It could even be like in spirituality. Like you have the gift. You're in tune. But I just think you haven't been paying enough attention to your creative and your artistic aspects. So definitely give that a little bit more notice. But this just goes to say that you are a way maker. You find a way to always sort things out. You have the gift of foresight because you have this protection and this guidance over your life. So most of all, you have it within you to bring healing to the situation that's going on between you and this person or that's going on in the other side of certain life transitions all right because with this death card here this is where you have the potential to be see you have the potential to be letting this person go letting these things go that don't serve you this death card and especially with this world card see both these cards are like a world um world why do i keep messing up my words in this one maybe you guys are having a hard time like expressing yourself especially with all this queen and this king of swords energy you know um just having a hard time asserting yourself and setting boundaries with yourself or other people but as i was saying what's so beautiful with this world and with this death card it's like it's like a gracefully letting go period it's not going to be painful where the tower might be really painful and unexpected this is like something that just naturally happens over time because you've outgrown it you know and yeah there's a little bit of grief still but there's also appreciation that comes with it because you're able to look back and see, okay, well, you know, the purpose behind everything and look how much this showed me and look how much this taught me. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of grief. There's going to be a little disappointment to let go of certain people, certain aspects of yourself, but you're ready to come into more. And look, the advice to help you get there, the six of wands, like, listen, just go for it. Know that you are the okay because i think you just kind of lost touch with feeling good about yourself you know maybe you just been too considerate of how other people or this specific person feels about you or considering their feelings a little bit too much or they haven't been considering yours enough something like that um and i keep saying that because honestly like i feel like this spread is just so specific if this was somebody coming to me in a personal reading now i know that this is general but i'm getting such a heavy like this is just a, such a specific message where it's like okay it's time to let this person go like you know it they know it you both know it you need some space but i need something different you know it oh oh you know it <laughs> that song so you have it oh i know it hurts but man you got to let go of this thing that's holding you back from what's truly meant for you. Because you know you don't belong here. You know it. Oh, oh, she knows it. We both know it. <laughs> like, that's really the song I'm getting. Um, yeah. But let me just tell you, I want to touch more on your talents because I think highlighting some of your good qualities is really going to help you get through this so that you can put more focus and attention into those things anything you feel interested within even if you think i have no idea how to do that or i won't be good at that um just go for it because i'm telling you you have some sort of like creative artistic ability and i feel like i'm always saying that but the way that this temperance showed up here it's not even just things like that like you can turn nothing into something you have a way of being able to naturally change your circumstances for the better like you'd be a really good mediator someone who would be a really good counselor as well being able to see like different perspectives even like working with your hands like building things like there's a i was gonna say plethora but i don't know how to say that word like there's so many different things that you could be doing you're very multifaceted so it's not just gonna be one thing but anything you are interested in um that you know that you're naturally good at it's really time to start giving attention to that some of you may even be like massage therapy or like reiki um or working out is what i'm seeing but this is all untapped potential so this is like things that you may not even know Maybe you've had some sort of like brief thoughts to explore this or dabble into it, but 
peace oh my goodness that's so beautiful peace in reverse though so right now you don't feel so peaceful like <laughs> and it's because this person is stressing you out or this perceived position that you feel like you need to be in is stressing you out but this came out in your natural gift and talent along with temperance temperance is a card of peace like oh my goodness i just feel like once you guys do what you gotta do put an end to this it's going to cause you to really get to know yourself get to know yourself all over again and you're going to come to find that you actually are a very peaceful person like you're not so stressed out and worried all the time you're chill like you just breathe through life you know but it's like this person this thing it was it was stressing you out like it wasn't aligning with you anymore so the advice to help you get there is like just know that good things on the other side you're, you, I see you coming into so much success. I even feel like some of you guys, this is like this relationship was holding back your career because now you're going to be able to take matters into your own hands and see what you're made of. Others of you, if it's not a relationship, which I feel very strongly, this could even just be, as I was saying, like you went through schooling or you became knowledgeable in a certain thing. I'm sorry. I thought I heard <laughs> a door opening in my house. I thought it was my daughter. Um... So you're really qualified, you're really talented, like you went through the ringer to learn this, but maybe you just feel like you're still afraid to let go of your old job or what you were used to, like you're just waiting for the right things to come your way, but you sort of have to go out there and get them yourself, you know? So once you let go of this relationship, everything is going to change. Once you let go of the image of how you thought things should be, everything is going to change. It's going to give you that confidence that you need. And for those of you talking about a degree, as I was saying, sorry, I got like sidetracked it because I thought the door was opening. So let me touch back on that a little bit. All right. Because I'm also getting a vibe, but this isn't about a relationship. As I said, it's like you went to school or you put yourself some through some sort of learning or initiation process, you know, and man, it was, it was hard. Like you put blood, sweat, and tears into this. And now, you know, it's time to transition. It's time to let certain things go, whether it be a job, you know, what you're accustomed to so that you can really allow yourself to spiritually and energetically change and transform into this next level. All right. I see that you will get noticed. You will get into that position that you want. Um, man, but you really just gotta uh, stick with your guns here. Stick with the decisions that you know that are best for you. I see multiple things that you're really good at. We're about to end this, but oh, look, now let's get, let your feelings out, all of them, even the ones that scare you. See, you're in this energy where you just want to get things moving in your life. So you're sort of repressing or holding back some emotions that you need to feel. Okay. Because if you don't feel what you resist, persist, as you all know, um, and it's like you're seeking balance, you're seeking peace, you're seeking a way to have everything fall into place, but that's not going to happen if you don't fall into place within yourself eternally first. You know, I think with this Queen of Swords and the Strength card, you're just like trying to be strong, but it's in like a, in a fake way. Not to say you're fake, because you definitely are very real with this Queen of Swords, but I mean it as if like, you're putting on a, a front, a front to your own self, like putting on a happy face when really you feel sad, where it's like you're suppressing emotions that need to be felt, thinking that that's strength. But what's really going to give you what's true strength is being vulnerable, is allowing yourself to feel so that you can actually bring yourself to do the things that you got to do instead of just holding on see when we suppress what it is that we're feeling it becomes that much harder to do what we actually have to do but if we allow ourselves to face what it is that we're feeling instead of repressing it and we allow that vulnerability to come to the surface we're not sitting in this place where we're waiting for a decision to be made for us or for things to magically just sort itself out it's like we purged it we purged all that heaviness out of us so we're able to let it go we're able to accept and we're able to move forward and do what we got to do 
So don't take offense to that message. I think that some of you guys like putting on a, a front. I don't mean that in a way like that. I mean it as if like you're putting on a happy face, thinking that's what makes you brave. That's what makes you strong. But really, it's allowing yourself to feel. It's being vulnerable and still being able to feel those feelings, but handle them in a more mature way where, okay, I'm going to allow myself to feel this. And once I'm done feeling, I'm going to collect myself and do what I got to do again you know all right so green number three what are they talented within i want to touch more on your talents because you have a purpose some of you you could even be in like the medical field or like law um but even outside of like jobs like that you do still have some sort of artistic creative ability that you're meant to dabble into like a hobby that would be good for you all right so let's see yeah i'm getting like law and like career conscious steps considered action looking for self-acceptance compassion and forgiveness wow considered action looking forward see this is a talent that you have you have a talent for being able to know all the right steps to get you to where you want to go where you're more aware of each action you're taking you have the gift of being in alignment with what you're trying to sort out in your life but you haven't tapped into this fully just yet because you're still needing that self-acceptance, that compassion, and that forgiveness. Wow, especially with that strength card. Guys, so I know that this was hard on you, but this relationship was very karmic in nature where it's going to push you to your limits. It's going to be hard to get over. Even if it already ended, you're still dealing with the emotional aspects of it of who you like you're still figuring everything out outside of it but with the strength card too and if it wasn't a relationship then this is just certain things that you went through in life like rejection of some sort like whether it be through jobs and just kind of feeling like an outcast like certain things that you feel like you know you could have done differently maybe even like starting things earlier in your life feeling as if you pursued things too late but with the self-acceptance, compassion, and forgiveness, this is like, that, that's the strength card. That's the epitome of the strength card showing up in what you need to learn right now. And with the self-acceptance, compassion, and forgiveness <laughs> coming out of your hidden talents, it's like this situation forced you to come into self-acceptance and have more compassion for yourself, for others to forgive yourself, to become aware of how you weren't being so loving to you because they think you didn't actually realize that. But what you're going to come to find on the other side of this is that you actually have a natural gift for being self-accepting, for being compassionate, for giving of yourself and of other people. Like deep down, you have such a kind, healing, gentle heart. Um, and once you end this, which you have the potential to be ending this right now and everything, listen, may feel a little bit of grief, may feel a little bit of sadness or disorientation as everything settles but you have the potential to be emotionally sh shifting for the better and things are going to completely transform so this is this is a tough one the green number three this was like big life things happening for you i mean most of these cards are major arcana so this was like something that was predestined someone who was a part of a big soul contract to put you in position you know, for you to pursue this or for you to experience this with this person because it's bringing out new sides of you. But you're not going to see all those great aspects of yourself until you put an end to it once and for all. So just keep believing in you. Get your confidence back. Take care of you and just do it. Just go for it because it's going to be worth it. It's going to pay off and you have no idea the success that's waiting for you on the other side. You let one thing go and you start to excel in other areas, in all areas. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. I do offer this as a personal, so if you're interested in that and other ones, feel free to check that out on my website. Um, but I hope this helped, guys. You know, whew, you know it's time to go. Now I'm getting that Big Girls Don't Cry song by Fergie. But it's time <laughs> to go home. It's getting late dark outside I need to be with myself serenity. peace serenity yeah wow especially with this temperance peace serenity 
This is like really about a relationship. Man, deep down you know it. But it's almost like you're so comfortable within it, you don't want to let it go. You're scared. All right, guys, you're going to do this. You're going to do the damn thing. And I'm telling you, it's like once you end this relationship, now I got to say, I really strongly feel like it's a relationship. But for the sake of it, it could just be, because I kind of got this a little bit, it could just also be like personal things in your life that you're strongly attached to. Like, as I said, um, but once you let this go, it's like this is going to open up doorways within your career where you can actually put your focus and your talents your energy in all the right places so don't hold back just go for it all right and i hope this helped you guys i'll see you next time bye